Hello everyone, it's Darkseeker here again. Welcome back for another video. Now, we're continuing on with our journey through the Kobolds and Catacombs expansion. We're playing new cards, new decks on the Wild Mode ladder. And today, we are playing Flame Fusion Secrets Hunter. Flame Fusion is a subscriber on my channel and he had requested that I play this deck. So I'm happy to oblige because I really like the look of this deck. It looks pretty awesome. So how does this deck work? Well, first of all, you have the secrets package in the early game, enabled by Mad Scientist and Cloaked Huntress. So, you know, you're aiming to get those secrets out early and then you sequence into your mid-game uh, with, let's say, Stitch Tracker to discover a high-value Death Rattle minion. Um, and, and maybe you get a chance to play Lesser Emerald Spellstone for a bit of board presence. And then into your late game, you have those high-value Death Rattle minions. Sludge Belcher, Sylvanas, Savannah Highmane, and so on. Um, Katharina Winter Wisp is in the deck um, and you know on battle cry and on death rattle hey maybe she gets you a savannah high main or two on board that's pretty high value and into the very late game ends off the corruptor bringing back your death rattle minions so this is a bit of a secret slash death rattle hunter um, and it, it's pretty interesting, but it's pretty fun to play. Um, a card I'd like to focus on is Barnes. Um, Barnes stands a very high chance of bringing out a high quality Death Rattle minion, um, like a Sylvanas, like a High Main, because you know, there aren't many other minions in this deck, uh, i.e. early game, low value beasts that hunters tend to play. Um, no, this the minions in this deck are for the most part high value. So once you've played both Stitch Trackers, um, I think it's safe to play, uh, to bring out Barnes. Um, anyway, let's have a look at a game uh, of this deck in action on the Wild Mode ladder. And we're going up against a Warlock. Now, <sighs> we've got the Cloaked Huntress here in this opening hand, and one secret. Um, and the idea, I think, is we'd like to get a couple more secrets, maybe. Greetings, traveler. The question is, um, do we coin out the Cloaked Huntress on the next turn and play the secret? Or do we just play the secret? Oh, look, there's a second secret. So to me now, that says, hey, it's worth coining her out, and it's worth playing both secrets. Our hand is starting to empty. However, we have Stitch Tracker to discover something big, so it's fine. And of course, Eaglehorn Bow played now with two secrets. Uh, hopefully gets us some, some value on the bow. Interesting. So, we can't kill it. So we play the Tracker. Oh look. Talk about value. I'm taking Sylvanas. And we're going first. Happy to sacrifice the Stitch Tracker there, it's fine. Stitch Tracker is not going to win us the game with its measly two health and two attack. And he's not triggered any of the secrets yet, which is uh, good for us in terms of the bow. So now we can get value on our bow. We can keep buffing the bow, hopefully. Hopefully we draw into more secrets. And maybe we can keep that bow going. I'm going to play Sludge Belcher here. Uh, it's Belcher versus Belcher. Who's going to come out on top? We have the bow. Oh god, that's the Emperor. We have the bow and our Belcher that can eat into his Belcher and kill it. Uh, but that Emperor is a real problem. So we're telling the Warlock now, we have no time for games. We play Sylvanas now. Here's the plan. The plan is to somehow try and steal his Emperor. Um, and I think it's going to depend on what he plays this turn and how much he plays. Because we need a good way to trade our Sylvanas into something to steal the Emperor.
Now he's clearly thinking this turn through very carefully. Sylvanas has obviously become a bit of a problem for him and he saw that card and thought, oh my god, what do I do there? So he doesn't commit much to the board. That's interesting. Doesn't commit much at all. You see, it's in situations like that that play dead becomes incredibly, incredibly useful. Well, there's no harm in picking another Sylvanas, and actually in the context of this game, I value Sylvanas more than I value Savannah Hymane. I value the ability to steal big minions. Clearly, there are big minions to come in his deck. He's playing Emperor. So he wants discounts. There's clearly going to be big things to come. Having another Sylvanas around is really good. Also brilliant with ends off the Corruptor. So, how does he do? Oh, Defile. Interesting. Catrick. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, Defile, Demon Wrath. Very powerful there for him. Very, very powerful. And he's probably feeling quite pleased with himself. Thinking that, oh yeah, I've just cleared that massive board. But I have options in hand. I have discounted options in hand, actually. Um, I mean, Tundra Rhino, Savannah High main charge is, is incredibly strong to the face. So, do we just play another Sylvanas here? Tell him that we've got no time for games once again. I think that's a reasonable option. Um, again, with a 4-9 Twilight Drake on board, I think that there's a, a chance that we get to steal it or steal something else. Now again, he, making him think very carefully about what he plays here, about what's going to trade into my Sylvanas. It's making his life very, very awkward and very difficult. If I'd played Savannah High Main, um, I don't think he'd be as concerned and he'd probably flood the board. Uh, but because it's Sylvanas, he's now having to really think. And the tapping there would suggest to me that Reno Jackson will be arriving very shortly. Okay. Interesting. So, what do we do here? What do we do? We can kill the taunt that injures Sylvanas. Injuring Sylvanas is a good thing here. Um, hopefully steals us something when she dies. Uh, I can search for something. I'm not sure what I'm searching for. Uh, another Sylvanas? No, we take, uh, we'll take Katrina. Uh, I can't pronounce the name. Katrina Winter Wisp. There it is. Now, I was... Quite, I was happy to pick her because um, she's just brought out that that other that second high main, which which is good. So we've got the value there. Had I picked the other Sylvanas, uh, then we'd have probably have drawn into the second high main, then drawn into uh, Katrina Winter Wisp. And then we'd have been a little bit sad in terms of not getting our value. But hey, it's okay. We've got this really strong and sticky board here. And he has to think very hard now about how does he deal with it? Is he pondering something like Twisting Nether? Is he pondering Reno Jackson here? What is he pondering? Or she? And if he removes this board, we still have Tundra Rhino. We still have Savannah High Main. Uh, to come, so it's all good. And Deathstalker wrecks off a disgusting infinite value with beast generation. Oh, cruel! And what does cruel bring out? It brings out a tube card, and he's going face. Unbelievable! So, in response to my board. He just brings out the army of demons and says, hey, deal with this. And he's gone wide on the board as well. Here's a question for you, though. Do we have any kind of lethal here? 
do we how would we how would we calculate this so Malganis needs to die uh, for us to get any kind of lethal uh, so we can Deathstalker Rexar here to deal two damage to everything we trade Sylvanas in and we go face <laughs> and that's it what do we steal oh we steal Bran okay sure and there we go that was a pretty sweet victory he went all in there with his demons. It seemed to be his only choice, his only option, and we were able to pick up the win. So, Flame Fusions, Secrets, Enzoth, Hunter. Uh, chock full of value uh, in terms of the Death Rattle minions in this deck, and this is a really fun deck to play. Um, my only issue with it is there are occasions where, in my opening hand, I end up drawing Sylvanas, <laughs> Savannah High Mains, um, and, and, and I just get aggroed down um, by, you know, by other decks. So I think you're sort of relying on drawing the scientists early. You're, you're relying on drawing um, some of those secrets early, but even then, some of the secrets don't always do a huge amount um, against aggro decks that can go very wide on the board very early. You're then reliant on Sludge Belcher. Uh, coming in for turn five uh, just to protect your face but even by then it can be too late if the belcher just gets killed off very quickly and they re-flood the board so I'd need to think about sort of um, you know th th this deck's ability to cope with with aggro if you're facing lots of aggro decks maybe fitting in another explosive trap is a good thing hey maybe even bear trap is actually decent at blocking a little bit of damage so you know I think We'd want to think about the secrets package in this deck. Um, Venom Strike, Trap, um, you know, probably good against decks that play big, heavy minions. You can kill them off easily, uh, you know, but but is that good against aggro? I'm not so sure. So, um, you know, so if you guys have got any comments uh, about how to improve this deck and how to adapt it, particularly against aggro, um, then please leave some comments. Uh, but against mid-range and control, I think this deck does pretty well. You saw against the Warlock there, you saw the value from Sylvanas and, and just having multiple copies of Sylvanas down on the board. Um, and we did not even need Enzoth the Corruptor in that game. Can you imagine what would have happened if we had played Enzoth? So, thank you very much for joining me, everyone. I really do appreciate all of the support that you guys are giving me. Um, and we're going to continue playing interesting decks, uh, wild mode interesting decks, uh, for the foreseeable future. So, um, yeah, if you guys would subscribe, I would be grateful. We are going for 1,000 subscribers. That is our target. We are so very close. Um, and I'll see you all again very soon for more wild mode fun.